Now it's been a chilly week outside, but will it continue? Let's find out with our first weather check of weather with Leslie Walters. Leslie? All right, so currently our temperatures outside, um, it is a 23 degrees. Here is your full weather forecast. Take, let's take a look at the current temperatures. Right now it is 20 degrees here in Syracuse with winds blowing at four miles per hour going eastward. You can see here there are people walking up and down in the snow, um, so there's that. 60% chance of snowfall tomorrow as well. Tonight, what is going on? Ugh. Tonight it's really going to snow and it's going to be very cold and you're going to want to bundle up and use your things that you have with your snow temperature and stay prepared. So let's see, national temperatures are next. So we've got just some colder temperatures up north and some warmer temperatures down south, obviously. That's the way the weather works in this country. Looking at, uh, taking a look at the current radar, we have some, um, excuse me, we have some snow right over on this, over in Canada over there. Uh if you're going to wake up tomorrow, which I hope you do, <laughs> the sun is going to rise at 6.54 a.m. and set at 5.37 p.m. So you'll have to shovel yeah. each, each day. Yeah, okay. but at least it's not like a, a foot of snow just dumped onto you because that is the worst. And I will tell you coming up at 4.45 just exactly what the temperature will be in the long day and we'll have a full five-day forecast just ahead. Thanks, Keith. New York State will be able to drop it like it's hot. I wish I could pull that off <laughs> this fall at the New York State Fair. A new performer was announced this morning who will be giving a free concert on Wednesday, September 2nd in the Chevy Court stage as the second act in the fair's Day of Rap. What's his name? It's Snoop Dogg, <laughs> bringing in his doggy dog world to the state fair for the first time. Also wants the federal government to spend more money to help upgrade aging sewer systems. He said it's a particular problem in cities like Syracuse, which struggle with mounting bills and adequate water infrastructure. Coming up on NCC News. We'll tell you if Italian High Court judge has decided to uphold 2009 murder conviction of Amanda Knox and what this means for 20-year-old decision upheld. Deputy Director of Emergency Services for Cayuga County, Neil Rivenberg, says the cold weather makes it harder for the firefighters to put out the fire. Hi Neil, this is Alana calling from NCC News. How are you? Good, that's a much better phone connection. Excuse me? That's a much better phone connection. Oh good, I'm glad. <laughs> um. The fire was under control at 10.30 this morning, but the Scipio say they still have a company there to make sure there are no flare-ups and the fire is still under investigation. But this project isn't going to be happening overnight. Both the town and the county's planning boards will be reviewing the proposal and there will be public meetings to hear from the community. Back to you and Christi Christina and Sean. From central New York to across the nation, let's take a look at what's making news. The world watched this past summer as Ferguson, Missouri became a symbol for racial injustice and the struggle between police and minorities across the country. is International World Cancer Day. This year's theme is Not Beyond Us, with a special emphasis on choosing healthy lives, delivering early detection, achieving cancer treatment for all, and maximizing quality of life. International Childhood Cancer Day follows on February 15th. All and uh, how much snow to expect. Stay tuned for my full forecast coming up on NCC News. If your heat goes out this weekend, what you should do to get it up and running. Brian Ives joins us live from Syracuse to tell us more. That usually means furnace failures, so we caught up with a technician from Isaac's Heating and Air Conditioning to uh, tell us what to do if your, if your heat goes out. And 
uh, let's were so busy today that they couldn't even get us uh, get us back. Uh, they wouldn't even let us ride along with them. Onondaga Emergency Management Office says if your heat does go out, call your neighbors. Their, their heat's probably still on, and you can uh, hook up with them. For decades as head coach, he's going to be missed. future retirement of SU's head coach Chancellor Kent Siverud also announced in the same email that athletic director Dr. Daryl Gross will be stepping down from his position. He will instead be teaching in the sports management department to benefit the students who can learn from Gross's background and experience in marketing and advancement. Peter Sala, the senior associate director of athletics for facilities and the managing director of the Carrier Dome has been appointed as interim director of athletics. It was a landslide 21-7 win over the green and gold. 13 different SU players scored against Siena, taking the Orange to its 16th win. But let's talk about some women's lacrosse instead. They played Denver and Canisius this past weekend in a doubleheader. Well, okay, how much snow are we looking to expect this weekend? No more than an inch, I'm hoping. Yeah, <laughs> it's not going to accumulate too much, so <laughs> that'll be a good thing. Well, thank you, Eliza. And your turn. <laughs> Coming up in sports, we will give you details about one of high school basketball's biggest <laughs> games of the year. And we'll tell you which players you could possibly see wearing orange next season. We begin our coverage today with the latest on German Wings Flight 9525. NCC's Brian Ives joins us today with updates on the investigation into the crash and the Americans on board. Thanks, Katie and Eve. We now know there were three Americans on board Flight 9525. NTC News reporter Keith Zubro has been following the story, uh, story no, and joins us live in the studio. Happened. Keith? It came in. It, it dropped in fine. Nothing was wrong with it. But it won't show up. I don't even know where it is. This little guy. The one day of the year where taxpayers everywhere cringe. Tax day is today, but not all the hype is bad. NCC News reporter Haley Schutluder is here to tell us a little bit about what residents are saying about tax reform. Haley? So during tax season, especially on tax day, we hear increased conversation about tax reform. And today when I reached out to people, I got um, bites from both sides of the spectrum. The general consensus around Syracuse today was in favor of tax breaks for the middle class. Families, what? We'll have to see what next year brings. That was my. And now for the first forecast of the evening. Brian, we've seen a big warm up over the past few weeks. How's it looking out there on the weather deck? That thing. Wow. Air Mobile plans to take the car to the market in Europe by 2017. No word on whether or not it's allowed to fly over regular grounded traffic. Wouldn't that be a great way to commute to work? That'd be Just amazing. Taking off, I am going straight over No you. roads? Kind of reminds me of Back to the Future. Well, what's great is that in Back to the Future Part 2, you know, when, when Doc Brown shows up with the flying DeLorean, it actually is 2015. It's, it's 2015. So in 1985, they were pretty close to figuring out that we would have flying cars by now. Flying cars, flying hoverboards. I mean, TV is pretty, it wouldn't be the first time TV show would predict the future. Yeah, very soon we may have flying news anchors as well. Not tonight, though. That's all the time we have. I'm Evan Weston. And I'm Andrew Sander. Thanks for watching and have a good night.